Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. It is a pre-season friendly preview, our penultimate game of this pre-season campaign. It's against Napoli at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. Carlo Ancelotti's Napoli, of course. We've got history with him uh, in European competitions. Let's see how we fare against him in this close season encounter. It is getting exciting. It's getting very, very close to that first game of the season against West Ham United. And I... I'm very much at the point now where I just cannot stop thinking about it. I cannot wait to get underway. A clean slate. We're in the title race. There's no Man City 100 million points clear. We're very much in it and we've got the squad to compete. I'm just... Yeah, I'm just very positive at the moment, um, and I'm so, so raring to go. And these kind of friendlies, when it's a week before the season and it all starts to take shape, the starting level isn't going to be too dissimilar to what we do see against West Ham, even though maybe one or two will be phased in to start, the guys that have come back late from the World Cup. But I think generally we'll see the right formation in place, we'll see... Um, you know, the, the real backbone of the side will see Allison for the first time. So there's lots to be intrigued about with this game. I mean, some of you may not bother watching the early domestic friendlies against the, you know, the Tramiers and the Blackburns as well, but this is the real business now. This is, um, this is Jurgen Klopp showing us his hand, basically. So, yeah, I'm really good that I'm not going to be in. Uh, I'm not going to be in Dublin. I've obviously went to New York to see the City game, didn't go to Michigan. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to be in Dublin, which is unfortunate because I've never even been to Dublin. All these Liverpool fans from Ireland, uh, such a great community of Liverpool fans over there, and it's only an hour away on the on the plane for me. But I've, I've never been to Dublin. I've I've not really started travelling um, properly until the last couple of years when I've been going to all these Liverpool games. And I've actually written a piece um, on why you should be going to these games, why you should be going to New York if 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 it's what you want to do. Um, then and, and you're wishing that it was you, um, then you can do it. So just, I've, I'm gonna leave a link to that blog in the description, um, go and read it. And yeah, I wanna see more of you guys. I'm, I met some of you in New York and I wanna see more of you guys at some of these big European games. Even, even if you don't get a ticket, just travel to these cities, go watch the Reds, have a laugh. There's always events like Red Men TV, I'll be doing events in bars, or the Anfield Rap, we're doing events in bars. You can go meet like-minded people, have a great time, sing with the Reds in town. That's what it's all about. So that's why I'm gutted to be missing this one because there's so many good events happening around in Dublin. But anyway, for those of you that don't really care about that sort of stuff, let's get into the preview. So, as I said, I think uh, the 11 that is picked here will maybe be eight or nine out of 11. Uh, what we see against West Ham. So Allison's going to play his first game for Liverpool in goal. Um, the defence now. Uh, James Pearce is saying in the echo earlier that Trent Alexander-Arnold, although he's only just come back uh, from the World Cup, that he is pretty much going to be thrust straight into action. You know, Virgil Van Dijk's obviously going to play. Andy Robertson's been there the whole preseason as well. There's one more spot up for grabs alongside Van Dijk, which you know either Joe Gomez or Ragnar Klavan are going to occupy, with still concerns over John Matip's fitness. So. Some people seem to be preferring Joe Gomez. I, for one, think Ragnar Klavan is actually going to be the one that starts the season alongside Van Dijk. And, you know, thus I think he'll start here. So just a bit of extra liability. I, you know, we've not really seen much of Joe Gomez at centre-back. I know it's got to happen eventually because, you know, the word has always been that that is what his long-term future is going to have in store. But, yeah, I don't think it's necessarily wise to throw him straight in at the deep end. So yeah, he might get a couple of games at fullback. I don't know. I know we've got Klein back as well and Camacho's impressed so much. But yeah, I'm going for, I think in this game, I'm going to go for, um, I mean, I think Trent and Klein will play half each. So let's assume Trent plays against West Ham. So let's go for Trent and let's go for Van Dijk, Clavin and Robertson. Midfield, obviously Jordan Henderson will be back after this game in Dublin. So he obviously won't feature here. I don't think he'll feature against West Ham, at least not from the start. So Fabinho, who has split opinion so far in terms of his preseason performances, but I've got nothing to worry about there. He will play. Vinaldum's obviously um, have had a few niggles himself, so if there was any speculation as to who was going to play in defensive midfield, there certainly isn't now. For being able to assert to start against West Ham, Naby Keita back from uh, a problem himself. Maybe he won't be risked here, um, but you know I'd expect him to be back for West Ham. So I'm actually going to go for Milner to play against Napoli, uh, and you know I think Adam Milana is, is a safe bet. I know. Shakiri played really, really well against Man United off the bench in a central role, but again, I, I don't know if we'd go for him uh, in that position so early on in the season. But uh, you know, I might be completely wrong. You know, why not? You know, um, but yeah, really impressed with Shakiri. But I do think he will be an option off the bench uh, to start with at least. And then up front, obviously Mohamed Salah. 
um, Sadio Mane, I expect them to both start against Napoli, and I think Daniel Sturridge will get the nod up front uh, with Firmino back in training, but you know, being he's didn't of course, I think Firmino will start against West Ham, but I'm going to Sturridge just to start here. Uh, and Sturridge, look, if, if Sturridge plays really well and scores, then he might force his way into the team for West Ham. You know, Klopp obviously has that bit of a headache with Firmino only just coming back. He is in good shape, says the manager, uh, the Brazilian. But Sturridge has uh, obviously been very impressive so far this campaign, so maybe he'll start here and who knows what will happen on Saturday. He'll obviously, a Torino game in midweek as well, which will give players a chance to impress. I mean, he might even mix and match the teams more than you expect with, with, with these two games both being uh, available. I mean, if we look at the team that played in Dublin last season um, against Bill Bauer, we won 3-1, it was... 8 out of 10, eight, sorry, 8 out of 11, correct? So the back five were spot on. It was Mignolet, Alexander-Arnold, Matip, Lovren and Moreno. Those were the, the five players that started at Watford away. Um, it was a Gruwich chan milner midfield, uh, and that became a henderson chan Vinalda midfield against Watford. Um, so two changes there. And then it was Salah, Origi and Firmino up front in Dublin last year. Obviously, Mane came in for Origi against Watford. So there was 8 out of 11 there, and that was the last friendly. Obviously, there's one more this time, so it might even be less than 8 out of 11. It doesn't really matter though, does it? All we really want to see is more positivity on the pitch, more attacking football. Um, it's a Napoli side who have lost Jorginho, they've lost Sarri, that you know, so they have lost a bit of soul in that team, but they've brought in Ancelotti and they signed Fabian Maurice from Real Betis, uh, made a few other signings as well. Verdi from Bologna for 22 and a half million. Um, a new keeper as well, Pepe Reina left. So don't know really what to expect from, from, from Napoli. I mean, obviously they fell just short of the Serie A title last year, so I mean, they're on a similar level to us. Um, maybe they've been a bit more consistent in, in domestic competition over the last few years, but Liverpool are very much on the upward trajectory. We're not losing our best players anymore since the Coutinho sale. I mean, this summer we've really, really done well um, in terms of keeping absolutely everyone. Salah, New Deal, Firmino, New Deal just beforehand, Mane in talks for a New Deal. I mean, those are the three key ones. Um, and yeah, I mean, other key players, Van Dijk's not going anywhere. Alisson's become a key player now. Um, our fullbacks are very, very happy and established here. Um, we've made some key signings in midfield. So we're not losing anyone anytime soon. Liverpool are in the perfect position. I'll keep saying this is the most excited I've been about a campaign at the, at the very start of it since probably 2009. I know that season turned out to be an absolute disaster when we um, replaced Alonso with Aquilani and Benitez kind of lost the plot a bit. But this time, something feels a bit different about it. Um, and yeah, I mean, leave a comment with your thoughts. Do you, are you feeling the same positivity as me, even though we haven't signed all of the players that you wanted? Let's not, let's not get too hung up about the fact that we haven't brought in another attacking midfielder. And let's not forget about the fact that when Klopp first came in, his mantra was he's not going to sign all the big stars. I know we've had to move with the times and we have broken the record for a, a keeper and a centre-back and we have had to spend big. We are the biggest spenders in the Premier League this summer. We've probably had the best window in the Premier League this summer. But don't forget the value of coaching, especially Jurgen Klopp. That is exactly why he was brought in. So we didn't need to be doing uh, United in the City, just, just literally splashing the cash at every single problem uh, that we've had. Um, Chelsea have made made themselves do the same over the past decade. Liverpool need to be coaching players and Jordan Shaqiri is still very coachable. He's not played in the top team for a while. He's looking like he's flourishing. I mean, obviously, going off half a game against Man United in the friendly and some training sessions is a bit, um, you know, a bit far-fetched, but still, Klopp can coach a lot into this player in his mid-20s and there's loads of other young players coming through that are promising. Curtis Jones, I've got no reason to believe he won't be a feature this season. Um, to be honest, I've been more impressed with him than, than I have with Woodburn. I think he probably is ahead of him in Klopp's plans at the moment. Obviously, Woodburn's gone out on loan. I don't think Curtis Jones will. I might be wrong. Um, I'd like to see him stick around and, and try and you know force his way into at least a squad. Uh, Rafa Camacho, likewise. So... Yeah, let, let's, be, let's be very positive. Let's enjoy this game against Napoli. I'm really jealous of everyone that's going. Uh, my score prediction, I, we always seem to do quite well uh, in these sort of games. Obviously, last year we played Bilbao, who are slightly less opposition than, than Napoli. But I'm going to pick us to win. I'm going to pick the same scoreline as, as last year in Dublin. I'm going to pick us to win 3-1 um, with all of the front three scoring. That would be uh, Mane, Salah and Sturridge. That would be absolutely lovely, sending us into that. Uh, game against Torino, full of confidence and full of belief that we can do something special uh, starting with that game against West Ham next weekend, which I'll be at, and in a week's time we'll be previewing it, and we'll all be very, 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 very excited um, if we're not already. So there we go, guys, that is a preview 
for Liverpool versus Napoli in Dublin on Saturday. Um, come back here for the post-match reaction. I'll be here straight away after the game with my thoughts. So make sure you subscribe and hit notifications to see that first. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook uh, for all instant reaction uh, during the game. Uh, and I'll see you next time.